okay? And no matter how many sets he might have had before, if Yami Korn can win, he's not going to have to win one online set, okay? He's going to have to win two <laughs> offline sets. He's going to have to kill Zerom out of, into the loser's bracket, and then he's going to have to stomp him down again. I right? don't, like, if I were to be brutally honest, it's, I don't think that's happening, but uh, let's, see what, let's see what this matchup is in store. Because, hey, like, this matchup is really, is a real, this is a really volatile matchup. All that I'm saying is, you thought this was going to be PME versus Zerom, but here we are, and it's Yami Korn, the Matera deity. The, the green victory. flowing, Battle what is that? Engage. Like a veil? Yeah, like a, yeah, like a, a crotch veil? It's a veil. Because, like, the, aren't, aren't veils usually on your face, though? So, like, what would that qualify? Uh, yeah, true. But let's see. As a, but enough about that. Enough about veils. All right. Zeron starting out with Zero starting out with pressure. Oh, just DP thinks it was going to match. Yep. Minus frames into the DP. Another grab. Got him. Now he's got the pressure. Straight Do into the demon flip. Do not stand up on that demon flip. Do not stand up on that demon flip. Take the overhead. You know, that's a situation where, like, um, maybe Yami thought that he had the anti-air. Maybe Yami thought that something else was going to happen. Uh, no matter what Yami thought, um, now he's in Wow, a, that clash. Uh, and that's a, that was a pretty spooky clash, but, I mean, it saved Yami from dying. So, <laughs> you know, um, as, as Yami Korn, I think that you definitely would take those. Um, and you can see that he's definitely a little bit more wily. He's just trying not to get um, caught by Zeram in neutral. And that was such a good, that was a good call out with the EX ball Battle catching the back dash. TK, TK arrow gonna take deal some damage. Oh, gets a raw far five H right there. Yeah, he caught him trying to set up the butterfly. Um, he knows that pretty much in these situations, what Yami's trying to do is he's just trying to um, pull Zeram into the set play, right? Um, Zeram doesn't want to sit around in neutral with the butterflies oh, all over the call, place. Zeram doesn't want to um, deal with the, the constant set play coming in. And so you're going to see Zeram not just moving, but schmoving to get around, uh, get around the space and look for any openings. Because as soon as he finds one, it's already a pretty terrifying yeah. situation. Yeah, Zero, I'm playing this match really patiently. I don't blame him because, like, oh, if he gets hit, that's dead. All right. So it's going to be one round apiece. Um, and already, it looks like maybe Zero does not have Yami Korn's number. Maybe one of these commentators was a little bit wrong about how this is going to go. Oh, okay. oh, he tried to do it again. Oh, oh. calls up. Zephyr backwards. We know Matera is the only character in the game that does have a double jump here, so... Um, perhaps a triple good. jump, depending on how. Oh, he gets him with the. Oh, that was a that was a good jump you, um, but it wasn't a counter hit, so he wasn't able to confirm off of it. Um, so we're just gonna see kind of more space control. Um, ooh, that was a good challenge there from Zero. Um, got the hard knockdown. Oh, did the double here we jump, go, the double jump. Throw. <laughs> there was kind of a call out. He was like, uh, Zero wasn't being caught with any of the anti air arrows or anything like that. Look Believe at him get. He's loving it. He, he's know, he knows his character is gone, like, with his jump, so. He was sitting there, and he was like, he was like, you're not catching me out of the air. I can do whatever I want as soon as I'm close to you. That bow and arrow is not, that's not, that's a ranged weapon. What are you going to do? Swing the, swing the arrow at me in your hand? Yeah, Zero has to I'll get out cut, of this corner now. I'll cut it in half. Oh, get some. Ooh, good, good butterfly setup. He kind of, kind of locked Zero down there. He took a lot of uh, chip damage. Um, Yami has a really big health lead. I think that here he should be playing That's very safe. Dead, I think. Yeah, arrow. Goodbye. Uh, super. No, he's not dead. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, Yami's, Yami's got one more. Um, it's kind of guess for the game though. If Zerom jumps, he can get supered, yeah, and he didn't react to the throw. Um, it's gonna go up one round. Um, Yami Korn trying to tie the setup. Right now. Like he's not going out without a fight. Honestly. Well, I mean, yeah, like even last one, it was deceptively close. Um, Yami was controlling the neutral, and then Zerom kind of um, just just got in and started playing his own game, right? Like it, it was in one of those situations. Wow, oh. he just he just did the light slaps that he caught him with his I, I don't know if that was on purpose. That was definitely a miss input. Oh, back throw. Up. Okay. That was a good pick up. So he he definitely got um, the pressure back. Um, Yami missed the anti air there, so Zerom's gonna take the hard knockdown. Anything, any counter hit overheads, any um, warrant um, lights that he's able to confirm, he's definitely going to confirm those into super and kill. So Yami has to be very, 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 very careful here. Um, most hits here will now kill him. Oh, um, yeah. Risky Zephyr, um, but it worked out. Um, oh, he dead. missed the anti here again. Um, I think that Yami Korn's reaction there is correct, right? Like, he he's, is get going straight for the anti air. Um, because he knows that's how he's going to get the best return on investment. Um, but unfortunately, he's just not reacting quite quickly enough. 
And so Zeron's oh, able to. Oh, he didn't need him. He should have punished. He could have punished that. Uh, yeah, the punish is a little bit iffy for Matera, though. I think Yamicorn's trying to be um, as careful as possible. I think that right now, like, Yami's very aware of his situation. He doesn't want to go down 2-0 because this will be the inverse of what happened to p and against yeah. Yamicorn, right? Um, so knowing knowing that he has the opportunity to oh. put things up. Oh, here we go. We got it. We got it. This pick. is the beginning of some offense. Scoops. He didn't take the super there because basically he wants to put it into a situation where um, Zerom's next mistake could potentially kill him, right? Oh, oh. That's, that's, a, that's a light. That's a small time. Uh, Matera doesn't get like a super huge punish on those types of things, but it basically puts Matera into a position where she's she's back in the space that's control it. where she wants. Yeah, that's super. And that's going to be 1-1, one, one. okay? Um, this is a, actually a fairly good position for Yamicorn, right? I think that right now Yamicorn is in control. He He's got it down to 1-1, one, one, and if he takes the next game, then the pressure is now on Zerom because the last thing that you want playing against the Matera player um, who has control of the set is for that control to bring it to a reset, right? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Um, he's going to keep the pressure here for Zerom. He basically ran Matera straight into the corner. He's going to get a good hard knockdown here. Um, and let's see what he does. He's got to chill a little bit until he gets his cooldowns back, but now he can get right back into it. All right. Oh, uh, that, was a, that was a rough miss there, and I think that this carries, right? Yeah, it's dope. That's dead. All right, so Zerom has taken the momentum right back. Um, we're going to see probably here, I'm going to guess, Zerom just rushes forward, um, and he's going to try to take advantage of this momentum to catch Yami off, off guard. Yep, he went straight forward with the ball, and fortunately, Yami was kind of ready. Um, that was rough. I thought he was going to take the corner positioning back, but he gets the jump in. There's no anti-air coming out. Um, he he did miss the air-to-air, -air though, so Yami kind of has... Oh, oh that was rough. I, I think Yami went for the empty jump low there, and so he wasn't able to punch the ball. Oh, oh get him with a reset right there. Rough miss on the anti-air. That's big damage right there. Yep. Zero's going to take the hard knockdown, put it to guess to the game for the game. Um, probably going to go for a throw setup. Oh, yeah, Yami brave mashed out. Brave mash. Yeah. That was such a brave mash. Yami was thinking the same thing that I was. What he was going to do was empty jump throw. Um, and that's why he got counter hit there. Uh, unfortunately, just that one guess isn't really going to uh, make the difference yet. I think here, like, Zerum, you have such a health lead that, like, you're almost not even intimidated by the butterflies, right? You see the butterflies coming out. As long as, oh, up the as, long as he's not getting hit, right, then he's pretty much fine with taking a little bit of chip damage. He's, he's fine with, like, letting the butterflies. Yeah, good call. Good call. Good call. What a parry. zeron has been doing anti-air parries all day. Um, and it's up to Yamicorn to kind of bait those and get optimal punishes. So this is going to be 2-1. Right now, this is tournament point for Zerom. Um, all the pressure's on Yami. He has to win these two just to reset the bracket. He doesn't even win. <laughs> if he gets these next two games, the only thing that he accomplishes is making sure that they can play more games. Right? Um, and the momentum's already on oh, Zerom's oh, Finally, yeah. the anti-air comes out. So this is going to be a lot of pressure here for Yami. Um, oh, it messes up. He dropped the combo, but he got the hard knockdown. So that's more or less fine. He's still yeah. got a reset, though. Oh. So here he's gonna get the double mix. Yeah, but he went for overhead twice. Oh. No double throw whip. That was a little spooky. But um, Yama keeps the corner positioning. He, he, he's dead. Never mind. Okay. So either one of them dies if they make a bad decision. Oh, um, that, was, that could have been it. That was a good hard knockdown. Yami just bounces backwards. He takes the butterfly setup. Um, yeah, and there we go. call out on the jump right there. All right, one more round, and Yami Korn will pull up to 2-2. Two -two. Um, and then he'll be in reset. Point. All right, let's see how Zeram adjusts. Um, he's just basically slowing it down a little bit. He's trying not to um, give too much credence to the butterfly, um, but also trying not to get blown up for doing it. Um, good inter interrupt. Um, butterflies are both out. Um, Zerom managed to circumvent the second one. So he's going to be able to get a little bit of pressure here. Yeah, he, Good anti-air by Yami, though. Yeah. This is really important. I think that there were a lot of situations, and Yami had to have recognized it as well. Wow, that where, actually beat the, that beat the DP. That overhead beat the DP. Hey, That's crazy. Say, you know, uh, Matera's hitbox can be whatever they want to be because yeah, Matera's Oh, no. Oh, Zeron, that was, that was Zerom's opportunity to get like a really big punish there. Um, but now, Yami's going to get the hard knockdown. He's going to get the setup, and this is guess for Yeah. Yep, he just puts out the butterflies. He's going to control space. 
basically saying that, like if Zero moves forward, he's gonna take chip damage, and if he moves forward in a silly way, then he's just done. he's just dying. Oh yeah, right? good whiff punish. Uh, good, yeah, that was a really good whiff punish. He gets the throw, oh, gets scary. a hard knockdown, oh, gets another hard mix. knockdown. Um, Yami still isn't one hit to death. Um, it would have to be like a pretty gross um, hit for Yami to actually oh, die. God, he... Ooh, that was nice. rough. Good nice. punish. All right, so we're gonna go to game five in set one. This is going to determine if the tournament is over here and Zeram's going to win, or if Yamicorn's going to reset the bracket and we're going to get more games. I think that we've seen a, a lot of kind of like ebb and flow here. Um, sometimes it's like this, and Zeram oh, just has him. the aggression. Um, yep, and he's going to take the corner back as well. Oh, no, he's not. He's just going to uh, go for All oh, right, Zeram's going ham right now. Zeram's going ham. Um, he almost got the same mix-up he won game one with, um, but Yami was able to kind of get out. I, I don't think that this really feels like you've gotten out. Like, you look at the, oh. the health lead. Oh, no. Oh, and he kept the butterfly, too. Oh, the no way. Um, this has been a little spaghetti. That's it. But good guess from Zerom. Things were starting to get a little bit spooky. Like, the last thing that you want is to go up to your opponents in one hit, and you are you have all of your health, and then lose. Especially in such a sloppy way, right? Yeah, um, agreed. So that was a good recovery from uh. Zerom. Um, Yami Korn has never listened to me about that not being a good response to Demon Flip. Uh, and now he's getting hit in the corner for it. You know, I hope he uses that. <laughs> Alright, yeah, he's in the mix. Hard knockdown. He's in the blinder. Uh, I mean, he's only made like a couple of bad decisions. I think that this isn't necessarily in indicative of the position that Yami is in, potentially. Like, he could really take a lot of his Oh, what uh, a TK setup. Yeah, good TK arrow. Zero blocked it last time, but he obviously wasn't uh, ready this time. No! Nope, he didn't super, so... Yami gets one next, more guess. Yeah, the next, next, next raw hit from Zeron is going to kill. Um, but if Yami gets a clean hit, he can kill as well. Yeah. Like, so, I, I mean, this, this game is, I wouldn't say far from over, yeah, but it's playing, not over. Zeron's just playing really patient. Um, he has no reason to approach. Yeah. So, so, and he's getting walked down the, yeah, Yami's form is getting walked down the corner. Yeah, he lost both of his butterflies too. So this is the spookiest position that Matera has, right? Until the butterflies are back up. Um, and Charlotta is away from him. Oh, he's getting closer. He's getting closer. This is so intense. Okay. He did miss with the butterflies, but now Yami's in he, chip range. Uh, he's, yeah, he's, in he's chip super. Range. He's and Zerom is our Xanadu 416 champion. Yeah. Great match. Yamicorn almost brought it back to the reset. Um, he had a little bit of a ways to go, but we saw he was making a lot of really good adjustment, but um, Zerom kind of found the positions where he could approach, Yeah, and he did. Yeah, that was still a good set. That Whew. was still a good set regardless. All right, what a champion. Mm -hmm. um, Zerom, he was doing very good during the COVID times, um, still doing very good now. Um, obviously, we've got a little bit of work to do before we can... Uh, we can dethrone him. Huh? No, they can't hear you. Go for it, buddy. Keep it PG, though. Keep it PG, by the way. 